Hello everyone. We are going to explain everything on computer page. To go to computer page, please log in to your cloud panel. First, we have some options on top and under it. We can find PC's status. Right click on PC will show a menu to choose from it. 1. Start prepaid session. Prepaid sessions mean the user will pay some money to use the computers for a certain period. Click it. Then enter custom time or money. Also, you have a quick options button can click directly choose. Then the sum will appear here. If more than one PC is selected, so enter the paid amount and click the start button. 2. Postpaid session. A postpaid session means the user can use the computer as long as they want and pay at the end of their session at the counter or reception. They can order food or drinks and pay when they check out. If the order is placed from iCafe menu, it has to be approved by the shop. Right click on a client PC where the user will sit and choose Start Postpaid Session. Once the user is done using the computer, he can check out from the iCafe menu himself or you can check him out from the web admin. To end the session and check him out, right click the client computer and choose Check Out, enter the amount needed to be paid, the same as the PC time amount, and click on the Check Out. You can print a receipt by clicking the Print Order button. 3. Offer Session. Once you have created a package offer, you can use it for prepaid customers. It does not matter which priority the offer has, all offers will always be used first, then bonus and money. Priority of offers only defines which offers will be used first. To sell package offers to guests follow the steps. Right click the client PC on which the offer will be used, then choose Start Offer Session. Choose the offer the user wants, then click the Check Out button. 4. Move Session. Sometimes there may be some issue with the computer or if the user member wants to use another computer, then you can move his, her session to another computer. To move a session right click on the computer which you want to move the user from, then choose move session. Choose a PC that is on standby mode, then click the move button note that you cannot move sessions on different PC groups or even from PC to console. So for example, if you have 2% groups, X and Y, a user on X group, can be only moved to X group. 5. Start member session. Member can log in directly with username and password on PC, but you also can open member session with cloud panel. Right click on the computer on which you want to open member session on it, then type the member name. 6. Free time session this button allows admin to start a free time session from the cloud panel. To start the free time session log in with admin then open it. 7. Send a message to PC. This function allows sending messages from the cloud panel to the client's PC. When the customer receives a message, he will hear a notification about it and the iCafe menu interface will be inactive until he doesn't hide it. Right click on the PC you want to send a message. Type the message and click on the send. 8. Manage. This option has some options wake on LAN, shutdown, reboot, log off, enter maintenance and admin mode. If any of the PC needs maintenance, you can make it inaccessible to any customers. When you choose to enter the maintenance option, if an admin wants to make changes to the client, he can use admin mode and make changes directly from the cloud. Also, you have Remote Control button, on Manage, which allows you to remote the client PC from your side. To Remote PC, right-click on PC then in Manage you will find Remote Control button. 9. Task Manager. The Task Manager of any PC can be opened on the Cloud Panel, and manage the game, applications running. You can close the program running on the client's PC with a button. 10. PC Logs. A PC log is an automatically generated, time, user, and money stamped record of events that occur on the designated PC. The data log may also be filtered by client name, employee name, and event title. Second, we have top buttons. We have quick buttons here for starting post paid, post paid, offer sessions, and buttons for add time or checkout. Next to them, you have cashier's expenses button. 
Sometimes the game center needs temporary expenses, which are paid by the cashier or owner from the cash register for something. Click the cashier's expense button, enter the amount and purpose of the expense, and click on the submit button. Add members and add guests. For a more user friendly interface, we have a function for users to add members and guest accounts from the PC page directly. Add PC group. PCs can be categorized like gaming, internet surfing, etc. from the PC page. Then you can define the price or offers that can be used for the specific PC group. To create a PC group, click the Create Group button. Click the Add button. Enter the PC group name and description. And click the OK. Pause all sessions. When there is internet or electricity down for a few minutes or hours, pausing all sessions function can put the time and cost of the sessions on hold. You can pause and resume all sessions from this button. Search members. You can search for members directly from the computers page and do the top up and other actions. Consoles section. This feature permits you to add any devices like consoles, PlayStation, Xbox, etc., VR, TV, gaming implements, etc., to iCafe Cloud for control of the using time. To add consoles directly, go to the PC page, select the Consoles tab, and click on the Add button. Fill the device name, description, and select group and click on Done button. Also, You can add consoles with Smart Plug. You can read more about add consoles with Smart Plug from link in description. Also, you have layout section. The graphic view layout allows you to set the order of the PCs as they are placed in the cafe. So when a customer does not know the number of PCs, he can just tell the cashier where the PCs are placed. Go to the PC page, select the Layout tab, and click the Manage Rooms button. Click the Add button, enter the room name, and click the OK button. Now you can drag the PCs into different areas you have created and you can lock the customization by clicking on the Lock button. Note Make the name of the PCs up to five letters or like PC001. Otherwise, there will be duplicate names and might not show all PCs when a PC is used by a member the name. And time will be displayed on the context menu. Certain PCs devices can be selected by clicking and dragging a mouse or control plus click the device per percent. Move your cursor over the PC console to view its details. Also, you have quick options here to manage the client's PCs. Thanks for watching.